We're going to be working on Alex problems that deal with equations that involve the KB, which is the boiling point elevation constant, and KF, which is the freezing point depression constant. Now these are two colligative properties, and colligative properties depend on the concentration of solute particles and not the identity of the solute. So in our given information, we should have information about how many solute particles make up our solute. Let's take a look at an example. A certain liquid X has a normal freezing point of 1.6 degrees Celsius and a freezing point depression constant of 7.58 degrees Celsius kilograms per mole. Calculate the freezing point of this new solution made of 17 grams of potassium bromide dissolved in 200 grams of X. And they remind us to round our final answer to the correct number of sig figs. Let's start off with our given. Our normal freezing point is 1.6 degrees Celsius. Our KF is 7.58 degrees Celsius kilograms per mole. Our mass of solute is 17 grams of potassium bromide. And the mass of our solvent, it's being dissolved in 200 grams of X. We can go ahead and figure out our I. Our I is our Van Hoff uh, factor, which is how many solute particles make up our solute. So our solute is potassium bromide, and potassium bromide is an ionic compound. It is made up of a potassium cation and a bromide anion. So it's made up of one cation and one anion. So the factor is going to be two. One plus one is two. And they're asking us to solve for TF. Okay, let's go ahead and remind ourselves of the equation that we need to use. Our change in our freezing temperature is equal to our negative KF times our molality times our I. And we use the negative for only freezing point depressions because freezing point depression means the number, the temperature should start going down. So we only use that negative for the freezing point depression. Okay, we also see that in our equation, we do need molality. And I'm going to remind myself that molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So that means I'm going to have to convert my grams of potassium bromide to moles. 119 grams of KBr is equal to 1 mole of KBr. And I want to make sure I don't round to the very last step. And 200 grams of solvent needs to be converted to kilograms. So my moles is 0.1429 divided by 0.200. So my molality is 0.714 moles per kilogram. So I do have a new given. I can go ahead and list my molality. Okay, so I've got all the given. I'm going to go ahead and start solving for this. My change in freezing point temperature is equal to negative 7.58 times my molality times my I factor.
Now, I don't want to round here. I want to keep as many digits as I can. But if I were to round, and this is a multiplication problem, I would have rounded to two sig figs, which is the zero digit. They're asking us to find the new freezing point temperature. And the normal freezing point temperature is 1.6 degrees Celsius. The change in temperature is negative 10.83 degrees Celsius. I'm going to underline my zero. And when I add and subtract numbers, I look at the fewest decimal places. So that means my final answer should have no decimal places. And Alex likes for you to put your decimal place in there. So negative 9 point degrees Celsius. Let's take a look at another example. A certain liquid X has a normal boiling point of 101.8 degrees Celsius and a boiling elevation constant of 0.82 degrees Celsius kilograms per mole. Calculate the boiling point of a solution made of 74 grams of iron 3 nitrate dissolved in 250 grams of X. And they want to round our answers to the final sig figs and they give us a hint that there should be four sig figs in here. Let's start off with our given. Our normal boiling point is 101.8 uh, degrees Celsius. Our Kb constant is 0.82 degrees Celsius kilograms per mole. Mass of our solute And our mass of our solvent we can go ahead and try to figure out our I so we're talking about iron 3 nitrate iron 3 nitrate is an ionic compound it is made up of the iron 3 plus and NO3 minus. In our solute, we have one unit of cation and we have three units of anion. So one plus three is a factor of four particles. So our I is four. And they're asking us to solve for the boiling point temperature. Our formula that we're going to use is going to be the change in the boiling temperature is equal to Kb times molality times I. Now we don't need the negative sign here because this is a boiling point elevation, so our temperature should actually go up. Unlike freezing point depression, for freezing point our temperature starts to go down. From this equation, we see that we need to solve for or we need to have molality, so we need to go ahead and convert our grams to moles. And I'm going to try to uh, include as many digits as I can. I don't want to round too early. And our solvent needs to be converted to kilograms. Okay, now that I have moles in kilograms, I can go ahead and solve for my molality, which is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So now I have some more information to include in my given. All right, I 
have all my given. I'm going to go ahead and start solving for this. Again, the formula for the, ch uh, for the change in boiling point is Kb times molality times I. And if I were to round off here, I would have rounded off at my second sig fig. So I'm going to go ahead and underline my zero. But I have to keep going. So my new boiling point temperature is going to be my normal plus my change. And when I add and subtract numbers, I look at the fewest decimal places. My fewest decimal place is one decimal place. So my final answer is 105.8 degrees Celsius. All right, let's take a look at another example that's just slightly more challenging. The normal boiling point of a certain liquid, X, is 121.1 degrees Celsius, but when 10.5 grams of glycine are dissolved in 200 grams of X, the solution boils at 121.6 degrees Celsius instead. Use this information to calculate the Kb and make sure your final answer is in the correct number of sig figs. All right, so let's start off with our given. So they're giving us two temperatures. They're giving us the normal boiling point and they're giving us the final boiling point. So we can go ahead from right from the beginning, solve for the change in boiling point, which is final minus initial. So my final is 121.6 degrees Celsius. My initial or my normal is 121.1 degrees Celsius. So this gives me 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. They also give me the mass of the solute. Ten point five grams of glycine, and this is being dissolved in two hundred grams of X, so that is the mass of the solvent. And I can go ahead and figure out my I factor. We are talking about glycine as our solute. Now glycine has a formula of C2H5NO2. This is not an ionic compound. This is covalent. This is made up of two, no, uh, two or more nonmetals coming together. So we don't have a cation and an anion coming together. So covalent compounds have a I factor of one because no cations, no anions. It is just made up of nonmetals. So our I is equal to one. We also need to solve for molality, which is moles over kilograms. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert my grams of glycine to moles of glycine. And I'm going to convert my solvent to kilograms. Molality is moles of solute over kilograms of solvent. So molality is 0 0.6995. So I can include that in my given now. Alrighty, so I've got all that I need. So let's go ahead and start plugging this into my equation. 
the change in the boiling temperature is equal to Kb times M times I. I have my delta B. We said it was 0 0.5. My Kb is my unknown. My molality is 0 0.6995. And my I factor is 1. So my Kb is equal to 0 0.7 degrees Celsius kilograms per mole. So this is my final answer. Good luck and keep practicing.